G'day, g'day, I'm Tegan and thank you so much for watching my channel. So far in this series, I've decided to buy a house in Italy completely remotely. I've shared why I chose Italy and the Salento Puglia region, why I didn't choose the one euro home and what I could buy for 10 to 50,000 euros. So today I'm going to take you through several different properties that are currently for sale online for 59 to 100,000 euros in the Salento region. And there are some really unique properties I can't wait to show you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the little bell so that you get notified when a new video comes out. G'day, g'day. My name's Tegan and I'm buying a house in Italy that I've never actually seen. In a place I've never been to, by somebody I've never even met with a room that doesn't seem to exist. Click subscribe to follow my journey. So let's get straight into it, looking at historic buildings that we can currently buy in the Salento region Puglia for 59 to 100,000 euro, which equates to approximately 64 to 108,000 US dollars, or in Australian dollars, it's about 86,000 to 146,000. Remember, I'm not a property expert. These are just my personal opinions and the process I go through when looking at Italian properties online, plus a few tips that I've learned along the way. You'll need to do your own research and I highly, highly, highly recommend getting yourself a property finder like we did, which is Davide Mengele from Salento with Love. Okay, let's take a look at this first house. Okay, so this first property is 59,000 euros. And it is in the little town of Mossiano di Liuca, Liuca maybe. <laughs> but I really, really love this property because it actually looks out over, it has a view of a whole a actual castle. So uh, let's have a look at the images first. I always start there. So this is the entrance into it. You see these little, they're called turrets, I think. Um, these would date back for hundreds of years. Nice little archway as you go through, looking at the arches, nice high ceilings. It's in really good nick, condition. <laughs> Flooring looks good. Beautiful big fireplace. Wow, it's in really good condition actually. Nice archway, kitchen. Kitchen could do with a bit of renovation, but it is actually livable, so you can live in this straight away. Not quite sure a fan of the lights, but that's okay. You can always change that. It's a bathroom. Once again, all tile looks good. Another room. Light windows in each room. I'm just going to flick through these fairly quickly. Those are the stairs leading up to it. So it's on the first floor. And that's the rooftop terrace that you have. And this is the actual rooftop rooftop so I'm not quite sure how this works with the terrace side of it but that is the gold right there so this is actually the castle or castle depending where you went to school um, that it actually you know has views of it's right near so I, that's what really appealed to me about this property it's 83 square meters um, it's five rooms and 59,000 euro a bit closer image of the castle wow so cool so if you really want a piece of history you're looking at it right there so it does actually come with floor plans which is pretty good and that's it for the images so have a look at the description real quick in the heart of the historic center of one of the most beautiful villages in Salento Mossiano di Liuca um, we sell a renovated and furnished old house located on the first floor uh, the castle of Morricano dated back to the 14th century was built at the behest of Terry, the sixth of Brienne, Count of Lecce. So lots and lots of history. Uh, the facade dates back to the 1700s. It's got a slightly sloping roof. Um, yeah, so much. It was renovated in 2005. It has a heating system, air conditioning, and furnished as new. So um, let's see where it is on the map to give you an idea. But you're getting a lot of value there for 59,000 euros. You would have to check out the actual uh, location in the town to see what it's actually like. So have someone like a property finder who knows the area. Uh, but that's where it is, right on the bottom of the heel of the boot of Italy. And nice and close to beaches on each side. Santa Maria di Liuca down here. So beautiful. Okay, so that's our first property for 59. Let's jump to the next one. And once again, we're using Idealista. There's other property uh, 
websites on the online, but uh, this is the one for here. Now, this one is in Galatina for 70,000 euro. And number 23, it's got a nice front there. And this one's been completely renovated, quite modern looking, um, but you still have the historic, you know, star vault ceilings there with the exposed stone, which is absolutely beautiful. And this is one is quite small at 50 square metres, but two rooms big enough um, for, you know, to stay there for your summers or even to live. Beautiful uh, floors, uh, not original, obviously. Um, nice modern kitchen with the metal, the stainless steel, sorry. Now, these photos, I don't think, do the property justice. You've got actually a nice... Um, uh, modern doors there with glass and a beautiful fireplace, which is lovely. But it is small at 50 square metres, metre square, pardon me. Nice bathroom, those tiny tiles. Parallel ceiling in the other, in the kitchen, beautiful bedroom. So it's really seems quite big to me. I don't know, it's a nice, nice little property for um, holiday or um, you could rent it out or you could live there if you wanted to and if you're able to. Really like what they've done with the stone there. So that's really nice. And having a look on the map, it's actually in the historic center of Galatina. So uh, that's the D sort of shape here is the historic center around this region here. And if we go into street view, let's see, you can't actually, I don't think it'll show you. I think it takes you to this one, Via Fernando Nicolo. So um, we'll try it though. Yeah, no, it's Via Fernando Nicola. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful area, really close. Wow, I wonder how old that is, that facade. <laughs> Don't get me started. The archways. Oh, I love this street. Okay, so descriptions fairly brief on this one in the historic centre and barrel vaults comprising, yeah, star vaults and barrel vault ceilings, which are, is the Salento region. So that's 70,000 euro. And that's ready to get, live in or rent out. This one is completely different. So this one's actually outside of Galatina, um, but I really love it because of the history of it and what you could do with this. So obviously it's not going to have plumbing or um, possibly even electricity, although there are some wires around there. I'm not sure what. Um, but you, so you're going to have to organise all that. But this actually is a, let me see, it's um, 237 square metres, um, four rooms they're saying, but I think there's a lot more than that. So you can't always kind of count on that. But look at this. Can you imagine in there being your living area with nice glass here, looking out over your, um, your acreage? Absolutely incredible. It does have some olive trees on it. That's the arch from the other side. It's quite big. It has, you know, goes all the way over here. So it's quite a big building, has really good bones. Obviously it doesn't have a roof, but it really has the um, original building there. And it's huge. It's actually quite large. So 237 meters squared, stairs going up there. But what I really love about this, get ready for it. Besides that you have your own olive, but this is actually a fresco. This here that you can see um, is actually a fresco, which is dates back to I think it's 700 I'll have a look at that in a minute um, and you can still see it so that's just incredible can you imagine that being part of your living area It'd be amazing there it is close up isn't that amazing absolutely incredible um, so if you love history then this is a fantastic property and there's actually another listing for it which I'll show you in a second um, it's an ancient farmhouse with star vaults dating back to 1700 and located at the heart of Salento. Um, the building, da, 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 da. the fresco depi depicting a Madonna with the infant Jesus is very rare to find in these ancient residences. 170 olive trees, small vineyard and some fruit trees. So if you really wanted that whole um, under the Tuscan sun kind of experience, then uh, this one you know, is something that you could do a lot with. It does need work, but you just need to have the right people doing the work. And to give you an idea where it is, it's actually, oh, just outside of Galatina. Oh, it's just outside of Galatina. So heading towards Noah down there. So it's not far from the town. So you've got everything close to you, not too far away from the historic center of Galatina. And I just want to show you, there's another listing because often there's um, more than one listing. 
just want to show you the other listing, which the images are quite terrible. I think they've actually copied them off the other one. But oh, you can actually see inside as well. It's got the nice barrel vault there, ceiling. And who knows what else you're going to find in the walls of this property. <laughs> it's got, I wonder if that's a well, I'm not sure. Um, amazing trees. There's the fresco again. And that is actually the land. So you get um, quite a few acres um, of olive trees and it did say vineyard as well, which I think is this, this area down here. But that actually shows you how much you get for that. And ancient farmhouse of the 700s of about 200 square metres on two levels consisting six rooms. And the land is 15,000 square metres, partly olive groves, vineyard and orchard. Um, present artesian well. It does have a well in it. That's the well. Okay, so and to show you where we've already seen where that is, so let's have it's what you can get for 79,000 euros. And remember, you can make offers on these as well. So, okay, to give if you if you're kind of put off by the amount of renovation for that one, here's one I've, I put in for 78,000 that doesn't need any renovation whatsoever. It's in the central historic center of Galatina and it has been beautifully, beautifully renovated. Um, it's actually two different rooms that you can either rent out as separate sort of rooms, um, each with their bathroom, or you can put them together. Um, and if you put them together, it'd be big enough to live in. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous doorway and nice street. And it's right in the heart of the historic centre. It's been beautifully done, absolutely gorgeous. The, the fixtures and, and fittings are, are absolute quality. Everything's just been done so beautifully. Ready to go, ready to rent out. It has been rented out previously and um, beautiful barrel vault ceilings, got all the mod cons that you need and comfortable comfortable gorgeous looking beds it actually has a kitchenette in this cupboard here um, for that room the other room has the other kitchen there beautiful modern bed uh, bathroom beautifully done absolutely gorgeous shower and bidet toilet and bidet and this is a little kind of laneway down the side of it so you, you've got um this old uh, hand basin and this, absolutely gorgeous. So they've really done a beautiful job on keeping the history of this property um, while still adding all in, in all the mod cons. And I do believe that for a few thousand euro extra, you can actually get it fully furnished as well, um, ready to go. So there's 59 square meters, two separate rooms in the heart of Salerno. Sorry, pardon me, Salento. Let's have a look. And this is where it is in the, in the historic centre. So it's walking distance down to the piazza here and these streets here are absolutely gorgeous to walk around. Absolutely lovely. Okay. So that's what you can get for 78,000 in comparison to the 79 if you don't really want the farmhouse and to renovate it. Now we're jumping up to 95,000 euro. And this is in Specia, 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 Specia. I'll have to check that. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, love, love this little court, um, courtyard uh, with the little lights across here and the way they've done that. It's really cute. And that's the view from the rooftop. You can see the church there and the beautiful Salento sunsets you're going to be able to see. So this is actually two apartments that have been fully renovated. So 90 square meters in total. And you've got like the split level here, loft, loft. You've got the loft there, nice exposed beam, beautiful floors. They look like original floors. I wonder if they are. Um, nice modern bathroom. I love these sliding wooden doors as well. That's upstairs on the loft area, the bed, little kitchen or kitchenette, if you want to call it that. So this, once again, could be rented out straight away. And that takes you up to the rooftop, I believe. Yeah, you've got your own private rooftop. This is the other, other one. So you can see the barrel vault beautiful exposed state, um, stone 
and I love those floor tiles. Once again, I wonder if those are original. It'd be great if they were. I love it when people bring things back to the original. Uh, there's some stairs going up there to the rooftop, or that's possibly actually the loft, pardon me. Little kitchenette, nice modern shower, with a stone roof. Love that. I love how they put the little tiles in this little section here as well. So it's ready to go, ready to rent out. That's a quite a large rooftop terrace for that one. Looks out over the, you can see the church in the background. Wow, really nice floor plan. So you can actually see, you know, exactly what you're getting here because some of the properties uh, don't have floor plans and that can take a little while for those to actually be done. Excellent floor plans, <laughs> those are the best I've seen. Obviously done when they renovate it, which is really good. So you've got everything you need there to get a full idea of that. Um, mirrors in the heart of the historic center, recently renovated includes laundry. So you've got that. Let me show you where Specchio is. So once again, on the heel of the boot, not far from each of the side of the ocean and Santa Maria di Luca. Okay, so that's what you can get for 95,000. Now, the last one I want to show you is 120. But as I said before, you can make offers on these properties. And I've seen properties that I've been watching over the last few months drop by like up to 20, 25,000 euro. So you just never know. You can always make an offer and go from there. All right, so this one is 120,000 euro, 140 square meters, three rooms. It's up on the top floor here. And this is actually just inside, I had a little look before, just inside the uh, entrance to the historic, uh, historic center. Nice balconies. And this is an example of photos that really don't flatter the property. Uh, it's a little bit better, you can see fairly decent bathroom, kitchen, looks like it's been used recently. So it's in really good condition. I'm loving those tiles too, actually. Oh, I love that um, water thing on the table. <laughs> ah, that was a little sign that it's actually star vault ceilings as well, some really high ceilings. Once again, flooring is looking really good. There's your star vault ceilings, two different kinds. This is huge. So it's 140 square meters. So it's very, very large property. Well, not very, very large, but it's quite large property and in really good condition. Lots of rooms. It says three rooms, but I'm thinking there might be more. <laughs> Beautiful. Seems to have a rooftop as well. And you can see there's the actual entrance to the old, old town, the historic center. So you just pop out of there and you're on your way out um, to explore. Yeah, it has this huge a rooftop with um, this little section here. It's a huge rooftop. Okay, what else can it tell us about us about it? In the historic center, close to the Basilica of Santa Caterina, living room, two bedrooms, dining room, kitchenette and bathroom. And it says it's in need of renovation, but it's um, it's Clearly, to me, it looks livable. Okay, let's have a look where it is. No, they're not going to tell you here. So what I did is it's sometimes they'll say, like they have here, where it actually is the street. So Via S Stefano is at south. So I actually put it in here into the map. And this is in the historic center. So you can see the piazzas over here. So if we zoom in, just going to zoom in a little bit more. Now, Via Stefano is actually goes on to and turns into Via Robertini, which is one of the most beautiful streets. It's one of my favorite, favorite streets in Galatina uh, that I've been exploring. And it's, let's, so let's have a look. Let me show you here. Let's go here. So this is actually the historic entrance one of the historic entrances to the center. You can see this is outside. So if you step inside here, is it gonna let me step inside here? You can actually see, is that it? 
Yes, that's it. <laughs> so this is actually the building. So it's just inside. So if you had this as an Airbnb, um, it actually looks like you've got some parking there, which is really great. Um, potentially some parking there, but you can also, you know, just outside, it'll be easier to find parking as well. But this street is just so beautiful. Let's have a little quick go down this street. Look at this building. That's like literally just a few steps away from yours if you chose to get this property. And I just love, love, love this street. There's so many historic buildings. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. Quintessential Italy, I think. <laughs> Going down here once again, oh, look at that. The balcony, absolutely beautiful. I just love it. Oh, here's a little church. I wonder how old that is. Look at this building here. I love the balconies. Oh, look at this archway entrance here to another building. This is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous street. Can you just imagine walking down here in the summers? Look at this door. I love this wooden door. Okay, so I'm going on and on, sorry. <laughs> I just, this is one of my favorite, favorite streets. There's so many historic houses in this street and I absolutely love it. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. I think we're pretty close to the town center there. Anyway, I'll leave that with you. Um, as I said, this house is 120, but you never know, you might get it for a little bit less. So, okay, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed those little tours and it's giving you a bit of an idea and some inspiration as to what you can get for between 59 to well, 100,000 euros, but a little bit more. Um, don't forget, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which of these properties you would love to buy. In my next video, I'm gonna go through a selection of properties in Salento that go from 100, up to 500,000 euros price range and that will give you some inspiration as to what's possible with your renovations and beautiful historic buildings that will just absolutely blow your mind away. If you'd like to see more videos like this then be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you know when the next one comes out. Ciao for now. Thank you so much again for watching. I'm so grateful for all your comments and all of you that subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye for now.